Hey everyone, so this is Arsenic Games, and I'm here to talk to you about my recent blog post, The Importance of Character Variety, How the Gaming Industry Can and Should Change Society's Point of View. Now, here's a newsflash, if you aren't aware of this already. The gaming world is very male-dominated, and to be more specific, white, straight, male-dominated. Now, that's a lot of media in general today. It's how a lot of things have started off, but this is 2014, right? So what's changed? I'd like to point out, we're kind of getting there. We're getting there with more female characters, more inclusion of uh, minorities into video games. However, I can't tell you many games where the protagonist is female, a person of color, or part of the LGBTQ uh, community. So, what does that mean for us? Well, first of all, it's going to get very, very boring if every single character is just a straight white male. It, it, regardless of plot. You, you get tired of the same characters being portrayed over and over again. Now, The Last of Us, Beyond Two Souls, Tomb Raider. Now, those are also great step forwards and including people like yay it's a female protagonist white female straight protagonist with brown hair though so that was my one thing that I'm starting to notice now is now the female characters are starting to look a lot alike like The Last of Us with Ellie and Beyond Two Souls Jody they're exactly the same uh, and almost personality wise the characters tend to be these very tough exterior girls um, who still need male like assistance. Uh, Beyond Two Soul, she has Aiden, The Last of Us. She's not even the protagonist, so that was my mistake. She's actually the sidekick. Um, granted, she's a child, so her situation's a little bit more of, of course, she has someone looking out for her. But I'm here to talk about how we need to start fixing that. You look at the characters today and the story, the way the stories are getting more advanced in video games, it's necessary for the characters to become more advanced alongside it. And by including people who are different and by trying to create characters that haven't been done before, we're going to get a lot more interesting games. It's something that we need to do and need to be aware of. We need to make a conscious effort and choice to start including characters that we haven't seen or haven't really thought to include. Because the thing is, is people are complex. They're interesting. There's many layers to everyone. And just changing things like their sexuality or their hair color or their skin color or the way they talk or their personalities can make a huge difference in a game, can help it stand out. And the reason we need to start doing this is because it's 2014 and there are so many people now who are, are able to speak up. Not enough people are, are able to speak up because there's still that, that fear of being yourself, which shouldn't be happening. And the video game world, by introducing these characters who are are some like if someone is able to play a game and they can recognize themselves in the character suddenly there's just this inspiration there's this greatness about it i i remember loving you know legend of zelda uh, granted i i don't know how i feel about it anymore these days but I loved Sheik as a character because she was a strong, independent person and she she helped the main character. Granted, now I'm a little disappointed that this whole time Sheik was portrayed as a man and the minute it's revealed that she's Princess Zelda, she's kidnapped and captured and taken away. And that's something that I haven't been a fan of since I've gotten older. But by incorporating these new characters... We start giving voices, or not giving voices, but providing examples of voices for, for people who 
don't see themselves in the white straight male role or the white female straight role. Like, it's the opportunity for people to be able to express themselves and invest themselves into a character. And it also provides the opportunity for someone who does have themselves represented in video games to interpret and see themselves in someone else relating to a character or a person that they would never have considered relating to before. This is an opportunity for 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 males to play as females. Like, we've had this opportunity now for a while, luckily for us, but now give someone the chance to play as a person of color or part of the LGBTQ community by incorporating multiple... Uh, multiple personalities, characters, variety, you're creating a more realistic game. And you create a story that is going to be different than if you had chosen the generic, the generic characters. Which, right now in the video game world, is what most games are. At least the big label games. You still have Mario, you still have Link, you still have... The Halo characters, uh, maybe not Halo, they're not the best. Um, Samus was a great example of how the world, how the video game industry almost, almost got it by not revealing that she was a woman until the end. So the whole time the character's playing and they're just, you know, investing themselves into the character until the plot twist is actually a woman, and it's not who you thought she was. Which is great. It was a step. But now let's look at games such as Pokemon Harvest Moon. You get to choose between boy and girl, which, realistically speaking, does not fit the world. We're creating these sort of stereotypes and these ideas. These people who are in portrayed in video games, the protagonists, they're the ones worth mentioning. They're the ones who have stories and voices worth hearing, which really isn't the case. And video games, by taking that leap, that next step, into incorporating a wider, a wider range of characters, is going to start spreading this message that not the, that white straight people don't have the only voice or the only stories worth telling. And how someone lives their life um, in these stories, in these video games, can greatly influence how it's played, too. And that's the kind of opportunities and out-of-the-box thinking that the video game industry really needs to start doing. And they can do it. And they have the audience for it. Because last I checked, about 40% of all gamers were now female, or considered themselves female. The other 50% being male. Now, I want to start looking at the statistics, if, or I at least want there to be statistics, of other people who don't fit in the male and female categories. There are people who do not identify as either uh, gender. They are their own unique person. So what are video games doing for them? What are they giving them? There are people of color. What are video games doing for them? What are they saying to them? And those those questions and being aware of them is what the video game industry needs to start doing and start providing. Because not only are you going to challenge if you are, you as the, being the video game industry, if you are questioning and challenging these questions, like, what if the character wasn't straight? What if the character identified as gay? Or what if the character wasn't white? Does that change the story? Or does it provide something different? Something even better and greater? Because chances are, there's, there is something in that. There is something in slightly tweaking and changing the generic, overplayed, overdone 
characters by changing them, you get a much better game. And now that it's not going to be the same, you're going to come out with something more original. And that's what we need to start doing. You shouldn't start replaying the same stories over and over again. No one wants to see those. We want new things. We want more adventures. We want more opportunities to expand our horizons and, and our point of in our points of views and it may not be the first game someone picks because it strays from what they're used to. But eventually when it becomes the norm to just have a variety of characters, no one's gonna think twice about the games. And that's the day I'm hoping to see eventually. And I really look interested in anyone's comments on this because my opinion's just one. It's not very large. I have been represented in video games, but I am asking for more anyways. Because I want to know and I want to see other points of views. I'm kind of tired of the same old things. It's time to change it. So let me know what you think. You can either go to my blog, arsenicgames.net, and post a comment on the article, The Importance of Character Variety, How the Video Game Industry Can and Should Change Society's Point of View. Or you can leave a comment here on YouTube. I am willing to respond to anything. Let's keep it, keep it respectful, though. I do not accept or respond to inappropriately or strongly offensive comments they will be deleted sorry but anything good worth saying anything any statistics or facts or interesting stories I'm willing to hear because I'm really interested in what other people have to say about this topic it's something that's important to me and I hope it's important to you too so thanks